The Aquifer 4000 setup in operation. The system has a rapid setup, just 20 minutes. Simplified assembly with the color-coded connections. Tool-free installation. Ultimate portability. Requires a 3-5 kilowatts generator and has an automatic pressure regulation for temperature salinity. Setup. The Aquifer 4000 is shipped from the factory with a non-toxic potable water system preservative that must be purged. Refer to setting up the aquifer, purging preservatives section in your owner's manual. Lay out both high-pressure quick connect hoses with the membrane case. Unscrew the back deck port on the membrane case and run both hoses through the hole into case. Connect both hoses to the corresponding colors in the membrane case, white and purple. Hand tighten to ensure no leaks occur. Run the product water hose, blue, through the back deck port. Connect the product water hose to the product water distribution hose, clear hose. Secure the membrane case and fasten latches. Using two people, stack the pump case on top of the membrane case. Release latches and open pump case. Place the control box on a nearby flat surface or use provided straps to secure box to the top of the pump case. Retrieve the dual sensor cable and the boost pump power cable, located in mesh bag. Run the Pearson pump power cable through the front deck port. Run the boost pump dual sensor cable, 4-pin, through the front deck port. Run the high pressure and fan, 5-pin connector through the front deck port. Run the boost pump power cable, 2-pin, through the front deck port. Remove rubber caps on ports and insert the boost pump power cable into correct port, larger one. Connect the dual sensor cable, 4-pin. Connect the remaining dual sensor cable, 5 pin. Connect the boost pump power cable, 2 pin. Connect the electrical pigtail connector to the Pearson pump power cable. Run the seawater inlet hose, black, through the front deck port. Connect the seawater inlet hose to the inlet of the priming foot pump. Ensure arrow is pointed toward connection. Connect the strainer inlet assembly to the outlet of the priming foot pump. Ensure arrow is pointed away from connection. Attach the Pearson pump inlet hose, yellow, to the boost pump. Run the brine discharge hose, red, through the back deck port of the case. Proceed to the rear of the cases and attach the brine discharge hoses, red, and place in drain discharge location. Run both high pressure hoses through the back deck port into the pump case. Hand tighten the first high pressure hose to the Pearson pump fitting, purple dot. Hand tighten the remaining high pressure hose to the remaining Pearson pump fitting, white dot. You have now completed all plumbing connections. Operation. Connect the power pigtail connector to an appropriate power source. You have now completed all electrical connections. Verify that the pressure relief valve, PRV, is open on the Pearson pump. Push the circuit breaker into the on position and listen for a distinctive beep sound. Wait for the Aquifer 4000 ready message to appear on the system. Move the selector switch into the one position. Give the system time to prime itself and wait for air to purge from system. Periodically depress the button on top of the filter housing to release the trapped air. 
While in position 1, if priming proves difficult, use the supplied priming foot pump to assist in priming. If unsuccessful, remove boost pump from case and place closer to waterline with provided extension cables and hoses. Hand tighten the pressure relief valve, PRV. Make sure the speed adjustment knob is turned all the way to the left. Move the selector switch into the 2 position. The Pearson pump will start running and gradually reach the set point. Adjust the speed adjustment knob to find the right set point for your specific needs. Note, position 3 and 4 are used for manual operation only. See owner's manual for more information. The unit's setup startup is now complete. Power down. Push the circuit breaker into the off position. Move the selector switch into the zero position. Open the pressure relief valve, PRV. You have now successfully operated the aquifer 4000. Always fresh water flush your system after each use. For long-term storage, see owner's manual. For tech support questions, please email techsupport at spectralwatermakers.com.